I'm just going to keep clicking buttons here and, and, and the vague hope that something actually works. Oh, it's starting! You're live. The internet can totally see you now. I didn't want it to start. <laughs> I didn't want it to start. <laughs> I was wanting it to wait. Ah, no, no. Right. Be the consummate professional that you wish you were. Um, now, can I see chat? I can see. I can see things. Squirrel! Stuart! Yes, very much a squirrel. It's it's not happening quite yet. Um, Kismaz, Kismaz, Kismaz now. Uh, Blake, how you all? Uh, Mister, thank God, John Martin is here. Is that the correct spelling, John? <laughs> Chris, yes, I'm actually live right now. Uh, actually live right now. Uh, I'm, I'm just, um, yeah, the, 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 the Alex, who's uh, possibly holding a cup of tea himself right now, Norm, Milo, uh, Gareth, Tony, Rick, Mr. Albans, uh, doesn't look a day over 56, was it 54, can't remember now, uh, Dave, and um, we'll chat, move up by itself. I can't be bothered scrolling. It's going to keep moving itself. Alex, uh, AGX, PSS, good morning. It's 14.22 here. Bishop, did you just ping me? You absolute knob jockey. Um, I can't believe... Thank you for reminding me. My phone is now in silent. One of these days I'll learn. One of these days. Uh, Mr. Fisher, uh, Chris P, uh, Stuart, uh, coffee. <gasps> Call yourself a grease monkey. Drinking coffee. That's not right. Uh, Pike Place 187. Um, Mr. Fisher. Mr. Fisher, guaranteed that he's vaping on a dwarf right now. I can get bet you any money. Uh, 9.23 a.m. in Toronto. I have, I, oh God, I need to get back to Canada this, maybe not this year now, but next year. It shall happen. It shall happen. Uh, hello from Antarctica. What? Antarctica? Somebody has to be there. Somebody has to be there. Um, Noah, how you doing? Um, right. Uh, I, I, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying that you're predictable, Rob, but, um, okay. Uh, Marcos, uh, Bruno, I'm going for the B3NO. I'm taking that as Bruno, possibly. Um, Blake, uh, Lampros, Patrick. <gasps> Hello. Right. Do you mind if I just, I get started? Just because I, I have no plan here, so I'm winging it. Those of you that are in the Facebook group, you'll be used to it. You know how it works. Uh, but it doesn't look like an armour. Uh, but um, So I apologise now. If um, if I say things that you go, huh, about, it could be that I'm referencing in-jokes from a Facebook group. I shall try to avoid that as much as possible because I realise that not everybody that's on YouTube is on Facebook and that would be unfair. Um, <laughs> it's just uh, Lars High and uh, Pizza Rolls in the Philippines uh, so uh, we'll crack on here uh, I was going to do a Facebook live uh, to show off a new mod that come in but then I realised that I haven't done any update videos on YouTube for a little while plus I had to cut the grass and this seemed like the most opportune moment to get out of cutting the grass so here we go. Uh, I shall have a drink of coffee, I shall have a vape, and then we shall commence. Um, Michael, why the live here? Because there are other people that do watch my videos outside of Facebook. Not many, actually. 
a couple, possibly. Uh, right. Things I shall show you here just now. Uh, I want to make this clear. Let's just set this right here. The things I'm going to show you, I'm not reviewing them. I may not have all the facts, all the figures in front of me. Uh, so it is just going to be a, a high level overview, just a quick look at things. Whereas the reviews will come down the line and I will give you all the facts as I have them then. Uh, so please bear that in mind. High level, first look, uh, just go with the flow and we'll be fine. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> Don't look at chat. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to work my way around uh, because it's absolute chaos and pandemonium in here. Uh, so we shall start off with the very first thing that is right there. So here we go. Uh, for those of you that don't know, tech division, um, shall we do a thing? We'll do a thing. Let's 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 see if. Um, and I realise I may be going over mentioning stuff that a lot of you already know about and, and so on and so forth. And I apologise if you've heard this before. Uh, but um, Tech Division, yes. Uh, Milo, um, I forget how many years ago it was now that I reviewed that one in the background. That was the V1. Uh, and obviously there have been several uh, Tech Division side-by-side -side mods that we've seen um, especially over the past couple of years, there's there's been quite a few. There is a new one um, that is coming very, very soon. I will try to have a review recorded for the end of this week. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Um, but uh, we're going to show you uh, this one. So this is the Horizon. Uh, this is uh, Milo's new one. Um, once again, this is... It's a 3D print. Um... When I say a 3D print, it's not something that's been run off in a 3D printer in somebody's bedroom. This is a professional print. Um, and I forget what it is. Is it M MLF? It's not SLS. It's not an SLS print. Um, oh, God, I've forgotten. Anyway, move on. Keep going. Uh, so here we go. On the mod just now, uh, that is the Dwarf Direct Lung FL. That's the, the new tank that's also coming mid-May uh, that I've been tooting away with for the past week or so. Uh, we'll get back to that. But um, yeah, this is, this is a, it actually feels a lot smaller than the hand than it actually is. Uh, but we've got firing button there. It even lights up. Um, it's a DNA 60, USB on the bottom. Yes, and uh, single 18650. And it, it, it's, I've, I, yeah, try not to say too much before the review, but um, I, I, I really do like this mod. I really do like this mod a lot. I, I will go as far and I'll give it away now. I will say now, I think this is the best side by side he's done. Or it's the one that I like the most out of all the ones he's done. Uh, I, I really do. Um, this wee bit here, that just fits in the cusp of my hand, no problem at all. And just reach around and fire away with that. And it, and it actually sits in there, quite the thing. Um, I'll give you all the technical details, prices, specs and everything when we do the review. Uh, but uh, what am I on just now? Oh, I'm only in 25 watts. That's not Dwarf Direct Lung Land. Let's bump that up. There we go. Uh, I better look at chat. Oh, there's lots of things in chat. Sound is choppy in and out, mate. Is that just Dan or is it um, is that affecting other people as well? Because according to my... Stream health is fine there. And it's all fine on that end. If anybody else is having issues with the sound, please let me know. There's nothing I can do about it, but let me know. Oh, 
Okay, it's just Dan. Dan, just I would just try refreshing. If I was you, mate, just refresh it. Um, so that's that's a review will be coming very very soon for this. But um, obviously, I'm aware of the fact side by side. There's lots of people that are going crazy for side by side mods just now. 3D print. Not everybody's a fan of 3D prints. I get that. That's cool. Uh, but for me right now, I really really like it. Uh, I really do. Um, as far as the dwarf goes, uh, I am now. I went from the the most open draw that I could have on it. I'm now on the tightest draw that you can have in the dwarf direct lung, and it's still direct lung. Um, I'm not getting a restricted direct lung. It's direct lung across the board uh, with all the the little inserts that I've tried, uh, but it's. I think the main thing about the new dwarf, the FL, is, and I know Rob's in here, and Rob <laughs> Albans, shut up. Uh, I know Dwarf's got, uh, he's got one. For me personally, uh, the flavour I'll talk about in the review, because I think that's the big thing for a lot of people, is is the flavour any better? Uh, I'll cover that in the review, but the deck, whilst it looks kind of similar, I think the improvements that they've done on the deck is a thumbs up from me. That's that's far better for building on. And also the, the threading, the quick release tank and things like that. Um, yes, it's pretty smart. Um, so there we go. Two birds, one stone, done. I'll put that to one side so that I, I know that I've spoken about it. Um, what else have we got going on here? What's next? This one will excite you. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. Uh, this is every once in a while. Every once in a while. Um, yeah. Sometimes you just have to... You have to pay for that hair dye and you have to do things that you might not necessarily normal, normally do. Um, so we have a vaping pen. Yes, it's a pen. And yes, that is 18 karat gold up the top there. Um, pen cap off. Stick the lid in the bottom. 650 milliamp hour battery. Uh, we have a 2 milliliter capacity pod here. Or tank. Drop it in. It actually vibrates. It's quite fancy. It's got, the mag it's got magnets. We've got magnets going on here. So it doesn't matter which way you drop it in. It spins, lines up the magnets and makes a connection. Um, and the other thing. It's a loose mouth to lung. And the, and the bad news is that I'm uh, three tanks in. I've had six mil through this so far. Um, the first four mil was 50-50. Superb, no issues at all. It wicks really well, and the f <laughs> and the flavours bang on. Um, I'm now on a seventy VG uh, in this, and once again, it's still wicking away quite the thing, thing, thing. Even no issues, and it's um. It's not for. It's possibly not for anybody that watches my channel. Uh, but um, who makes it again? I forget who makes it. <laughs> this crew. I think there's a few reviewers have had them sent out recently. Um, it's actually not shit. It doesn't matter how you feel about the, the the fact that it looks like a pen, if you want to get upset about that kind of thing, um, it, it vapes well, and that's all I really care about at the end of the day. But um, yeah, I'll if this upsets you, uh, there we go. Um, U.S. school head teachers will love that. Yes, uh, Rebuild Brian got his stride in. Strayball Brothers, yes. Do you like it? I like it. I think it's a really good RDA. Um, 
Uh, Wonder Kid. Hello, I'm late. Any recommendations for a mouth along RTA? Watch the reviews. I don't do recommendations. Sorry, I I, I really don't. I I know that that's the the thing that uh, a lot of these live shows and stuff like that is where uh, people ask for recommendations. All I can say to you is that I have a playlist in my my YouTube channel for RTAs. Go and look at the thumbnails. If there's anything that catches your eye, then go and watch the video. Uh, but I, I really don't get into recommendations as such. Um, I know that sounds a bit shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, what's next in the table? Oh, God. <laughs> can't wait. I'll tell you what, before I do anything else, I have to check this. Um, let's get a total. Now, I, there was a video went up in my Facebook and my YouTube channel. Um, I'm basically we're doing a, a, another charity raffle and this isn't loading for some reason. That's, that's just typical, isn't it? Um, and uh, this time it's for a, a Limelight Wicket DNA 60, a Limelight Arch, and a Haku Zeta in stainless steel. Um, and all the money is going to Mission Australia um, because that's a charity that a, a friend that isn't well just now, there's a charity that he supports. So. I can't do anything to help my friend and I felt just a little bit hopeless and it was getting me down so I thought I would do this to try and make myself feel better for some whatever reason um, and that's been running since Sunday I think it is and we're sorry there's no internet connection there is an internet connection damn it try it again what oh. Here we go. We're working. Right. Uh, PayPal balance is £2,560. That's how much has been raised so far um, from Facebook groups, people watching the YouTube channel. £2,560. Uh, which is, thank you. Very, very much. Um on behalf of Mission Australia and uh, on behalf of somebody that would love you to bits for doing what you're doing. Uh, so if you've donated, just thank you so, so much. Um, right. Um, an incredible amount of money. <laughs> I love vapors. I love vaping. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right. Um, sorry. More coffee. Uh, can I get a recommendation for a good side-by-side -side drug dealer style trim for my 2001 turquoise course? <laughs> You're a <t> <laughs> If you're going to do anything, carbon fibre vinyl. You can't go wrong. It never goes out of style. Everybody always looks at my car when they see the carbon fibre vinyl wrapped bits in the interior and go, that's smart. I know that. Um, uh, hello Todd, can you give your opinion for the new Lost Vapes and Turius Mod? No, I've not seen it. I've not seen it, so I can't give an opinion on it. Um, sorry, my apologies. Um, I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do, just to prove that I'm not a complete miserable, grumpy old sh so and so. And we'll go and we'll do uh we'll, we'll go and look for it, and I'll 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 give you um my initial feedback. I am twenty one plus. Yes, I am. I'm twenty one plus. Ah, this one. Uh, the 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 ah yes the. Um, Oh my God, we had 2,000 paranormals left over. What can we do with them? I know. We'll just slap another bit of fabric on top of it and uh, hope that nobody notices that it's actually an old paranormal done up to look like a new one. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, it's a 250C and all the rest of it, but 
and it looks very don't get me wrong it looks very very funky uh, but for me personally I think it's just a rehash of the old paranormal and very le very little effort going into redesigning it that's my personal take on it I've not used the mod so I can't give you any other feedback on it um, there we go um, where's the pupper uh, Chris the, the pupper is uh, behind me um, the pupper doesn't have the, the camera set up here because if my PC went pop again a um, little bit of technical advice for you I'm not setting up a second channel for technical advice or anything I'll just include it here uh, the, um, if you work in a shed with a spaniel uh, my advice to you is is not to run a PC with an exposed case it's a bad idea uh, I blew the, the motherboard on the PC I think about a year ago I put a new motherboard in it and uh, and it's gone pop again and it's purely the VG the dust the dirt the crap everything in this shed um, it's my own fault nobody else's so I'm, I'm using a laptop just now my old laptop and it seems to be doing the job it seems to be doing the job uh, <laughs> what do you think is better the har or the theatro well go watch the review for the theatro I gave all my opinions there <laughs> I'm just going to backpedal. I'm just I'm staying out of that one. Um, as far as the theatro goes, just now, not the theatro. Oops. Uh, as far as the the har goes, we're um, very very close, very very close to production. Very close. Uh, I'm just waiting on an update for my prototype. Once that gets to myself and Van and Dell and we give the thumbs up on it then we're good to go so it could potentially be best case scenario uh, two three weeks away best case scenario um, we'll just have to wait and see um, fingers crossed it's I have been using the HAR every single day since it got here uh, this is it's not a review it's not a sales pitch it's not anything like that um, put it like this I always had the opportunity the door was the, the door was always open the door was always there for me to walk away from this um, if I wasn't happy with anything that was going on uh, if the design if I wasn't happy I could leave at this point in time um, I'm really really proud of the fact that I'm associated or involved with this project that's the update I can give you just now and I think that's yeah that's the update I'll give you just now I'll stick with that um, right uh, Would you want to charity raffle? I never used Juggernaut. You're not talking about an old Juggernaut. Genesis Hybrid? Um, do you know how much I'd love to even just see a Genesis? If, it's an, if you're talking about an old school Juggernaut... Um, does anybody else here remember them? I mean, there, there must be people here that actually remember what the... Um, it was the Juggernaut, wasn't it? <laughs> I, really do, I really shouldn't show you the clone, but it's the only photo that's coming up just now. Um... That that that's pretty bad. I shouldn't really put this. I'm just going to put this up quickly. Can I get a? I can't get a bigger picture on it. Dope. Oh. Um. 
let's see if I can't get uh, who have we got here we've got I'm looking for no that's just random YouTube videos ah to hell with it if you ever want to see a beautiful Genesis hybrid uh, then go and look up for the Genesis the juggernaut I'm sure some fat guy in a shed reviewed it at some point in time possibly me uh, it is as well holy crap Drop us an email. Drop us an email. If I can raise some money for charity with it, that would be awesome. Um, right. Where are we? Yeah, sick boy. All right, Mike. Uh, please say it's not shit. Would a 24mm har be possible in the future? Right, here's the thing. Um, it depends. It depends on on how well it's received and how well it sells. Uh, obviously, if you only, we only sell a handful of them, we're not going to do accessories, we're not going to do 24mm versions, we're not going to do all the bells and whistles because we hardly sold any. We have to wait and see how well it's received first before we decide where we go next. It's just the way it works, just the way it works. Um, we are only a... Van and Dell, uh, although they've been around for years, they are just two guys in a small mod making company. Uh, and I'm just some old man in a shed. Uh, we're not some massive Chinese company that can just chuck out thousands. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, Russ, I know, showing a sausage off live. It's just as well I'm not an SV anymore. I'd probably get banned. Um, got to show you this one I've got I can't god oh man a oh man um, I'll take the tank off I'll take the tank off um, Daryl tone down the clouds and that thing what thing what clouds what are you talking about this is so so nice um, here we go. Boom. Okay, this is the new mod from Art and Mod. Um, and it is exquisite uh, for want of uh, a better expression. It, it's just... I, I have a thing, I love Art Deco, and to me this is very Art Deco. Uh, this is, is Buffalo, I'm pretty sure this is Buffalo Horn that's running up and down. The centre tube is Buffalo Horn. It's a DNA 60. Uh, it's a, a single 18650 using obviously their their own 510, uh, their own battery tubes. Uh, this is, uh, oh God, what was it? Coco... Coco Bono? Coco Bono? Is it the wood? Uh, if I remember, I've got all the spec written down. Um, onyx with gold dust going through for the button here and also for the up and down buttons on the bottom. Um, we've got brushed stainless steel here, polished stainless steel around the sides. Uh, this is primarily designed for 22mm RTAs and, um, and it's it's bloody gorgeous. It really is. <laughs> so there we go. 22mm Atti on it. Uh, there will be a review for this, obviously. Now, uh, you can customise this. Uh, there's various woods you can choose from. There's various materials you can use for the buttons. Uh, for here as well different finishes on the stainless steel uh, it's pretty much all customizable um, it, it's it's just yes it's it's very very nice very very nice um, and I must admit I'm kind of it's the whole art deco thing that, that is just floating my boat in this right now uh,
yeah it's very um uh, russ uh daryl sorry all oh, the clouds on the new hard, hard rta would be nice if it was more clean looking I'm sorry, it wouldn't be. It's going to look exactly like it is now. It'll have lots of clouds around the bottom, a cloud on the side of the tank. If you don't like that, you can always go and buy the Rose V3 because it basically looks the same, but it's a lot cleaner. <laughs> sorry, I'm being a dick. <laughs> sorry. I understand people don't like certain things about the, the, you know, the aesthetics of it, but... Um, If you were given the opportunity to, to make something that you wanted to vape with, you would make it for you. And I know you're supposed to make it so that everybody else will like it, but I'm a selfish man. And, and primarily uh, the design was f for me because I like the look of it. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, that is the, the HAR RTA. That's the that's the RTA that I'm doing with Van and Dell. Um, and, and just, I mean, this is the other thing. Um, it's This isn't cloudy, as in it's not full-on direct lung. I mean, you'll possibly hear. It's just, for me, crossing over. It's just sitting on direct lung, fully open. Some people might think it's a restricted direct lung, but for me, I think it's just going into direct lung territory, fully open. Uh, and that's it. 28 watts. Uh, I'll... I really hope you like it. If you do buy one, you don't have to buy one. Uh, Lars, it'll be, uh, hopefully we're looking to have it at 65 pounds, 65 pounds. Uh, and it's 22 millimeters and it holds four millimeters of juice. Um, and in, in case anybody was wondering, it's, uh, this is a Scrape EC that holds five millimeters of juice. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the har. Um, just so there's a direct size comparison for you. You can see how small uh, that RT is. See, a lot smaller. Um. <laughs> yes, it will work with neck salts. It will work with neck salts. Um. <laughs> One of the things that winds me up beyond belief that. Uh, right, more coffee. Uh, right, back up top. Here's something. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I've shown this off, but I, I shall now. <laughs> Bassium Gate. Poor Dean. He got so much flack from me for that. Um, and there's another thing I will say. Um, and I shouldn't possibly say it. Some reviewers wouldn't do this kind of thing, but I will, because I don't care. Um, young Dean, little guy. He's about this height. He's about this height. Beard. And and he's got hands and feet like a hobbit. Um, vaping biker, I do believe he's called. Uh, go and watch his video. Not a review, but a, a preview for the... Was it the Rye RDA? For a preview video... Uh, it's one of the smart. It's actually one of the coolest videos I think I've seen in the vaping game. Not for a review. I don't like it, which it wasn't. But I still think it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And I tip my hat to him. Yeah, I tip my hat to him for it. Um, so this this thing here is the. <laughs> Where's the box? Is it written on it? It's written on it. Hang on. It's written on it what it's called. Um, the Basic Mech by Kaiser. Kaiser, I think it is. This thing. And I put the har on top of it just so you can see how good the har looks in a mech. Um, 
So that's another thing that's coming in for review. Uh, just uh, there you go. Let you have a looky. It, it, it's nothing. It's a solid make. Don't, it's a hybrid, and yeah, firing button down here. We've got a locking ring here that comes in. Uh, I've got them in different materials. It's not reverse threaded or anything. Um, it's it's not shit. It's not shit. It it's actually works quite well. Um, so that there'll be a review for that before long as well. Um, the only thing that's bugging me right now about it is that I like I do I do like some people like a make that it will only fire when you push squarely on the bottom. But there's like a bolt in there. It's threaded into a bolt, and the bolt's going up and down, and I can feel it hitting off the delrin. And if I push the button slightly off center, it, it won't fire. So that that's the only niggle I've got with it just now. But um, it comes with an 18350 tube as well. Uh, so it's an 18650 and an 18350 that it comes with. Uh, right, let's pop that down there. That's that done. Next. Done all that. We've done all that. Uh, I'd just like to put a shout out to all the people in uh, my Facebook group that have become patrons recently. Uh, thank you for sending on your patron money. Uh, if anybody's interested in becoming a patron for my channel, uh, you have to send £1.23 in one pences. Um, I do not accept PayPal. Uh, I don't accept any money other than one pound twenty three and one pences. Also, if you include chocolate, that would be acceptable. Um, I must admit that um, please don't include things like this uh, because um, as much as I like playing cards, sex in ancient Greece is not really my thing. <laughs> but um, thank you anyway, Jim, you absolute raven idiot. Um, where's my... What did I do with it? I don't know if I showed this off in a vlog, but, but, but there we go. Just in case you think I'm kidding. So this was my... There's there's £1.23 in pennies. Um, thank you, Phil. Uh, or you can be like uh, Mike Davies, who sent it on and glued them all together because he's a special kind of twisted person. He didn't just send it £1.23. He had to glue all the pennies uh, together. Twisted, twisted soul. Um, and obviously, just in case you don't get the sarcasm, it's just a joke thing. I don't have a patron. Uh, I never will. It's just, it's just for fun. It's just for fun, that. Um... Other things we can talk about, uh, as always, vaping away on my Delro with my my beautiful, beautiful case from Heart Leathercraft, um, which I will now take off. Sorry, cuz, I just, I need to show this bit off. Uh, I did get, looky, I got some, uh, Justin sent on some, uh, a smoked door for it which is, looks really, really smart on it. And also uh, a smoked panel for here. Dead smart. Um, also want to do a shout out. I've just realized I've got the white one here. Uh, I've got my black Zeta in there just now. Uh, thank you to Brandon. Brandon who sent on uh, a pink borrow tank yes a pink borrow tank thank you very much you dick <laughs> but uh, yeah this is this is my daily mod this is this is this gets used every single day um i was going to say no you can't have one but yes you can there's more and more people getting a hold of these now unless your name's lloyd and you have to buy them all or you probably stole them yeah, I probably stole them. Anyway, uh, another thing that I'm vaping away with, I must say, is um, <laughs> this. 
I'm still vaping away. This is um, has been lying on my desk and as possibly shit as it is in some respects, uh, like these panels, uh, they, they, they aren't stuck down that well and the paint comes off the button. Uh, the vape from this wee thing is actually really, really good. And I've forgotten what it's called. The Narada. Narada Pro by some company I can't remember. Ogvape? Was it Ogvape? Might be an Ogvape. Um, another thank you. I want to say a thank you to Dominic. I broke three mods in one week. Um, <laughs> there's a, a pair of uh, opera uh, glasses that he sent on because my eyesight is so bad he thought that a pair of opera glasses would be good for me um, for putting coils and things what are you, what are you going to do what are you going to do uh, right uh, Peter do you know how the new evil bridge is coming on uh, I really don't know uh, I've not heard from John two or three weeks now He's been pretty quiet, which is usually a good thing because he's a right gobshite. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've not heard from John in a wee while now. Um, I'll take it that he's been busy. He's been busy. I hope he comes out with it soon, though. His gear, his gear is good. Uh, other things that um, I did I have to mention that uh, possibly nobody's interested in. Check this out. Yes. Um, the wonderful Mick Blizzard uh, sent me on a moonshot of all things. And then Alex from Cheeky Vape in the UK uh, sent me on an extension piece for it. And um, yeah, I missed the moonshot. I, I never got one when they first came out. I never reviewed one. No experience with them whatsoever. And I, I have to say that the vape from the Moonshot is superb. Superb. Very, very good. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoy vaping with it. Um, I know people say it's a pain to build on. But if you've built with the Pico and things like that, then it's not really that bad. Uh, it, it does... Um, who the hell? Well, you can... Um, you can go away. Um, the other mod, it was called the Delco. Anyway, uh, so yes, I've been playing with the Moonshot and I'm thoroughly enjoying the vape for a minute. So thank you, Mick, and thank you, Alex, at Cheeky Vape. Um, the Delro, D yes, as Lars has said there, the Delro. I have reviewed it. There is a review on my channel. Uh, there is the Delro. Uh, you get a, a DNA 75 version. You get a DNA 60 version, and you also get uh, die codes. Did I say die codes to begin with? Possibly. Who knows? Um, I gave news about the Har RTA earlier on. Hopefully, two to three weeks away. All going well. Two to three weeks away. I'm moving my way around here. I think I'm almost done. Uh, I did get... These guys sent... Um, these guys sent on a pile of batteries and um, chargers, home life. Um, let's switch to this. Is it home tech? Um, I've not really used them. I, I did go and check out Mooch's chat. I, I checked up with Mooch because uh, the one thing I did like was that they were putting... Uh, there we go. The details. Up, oh, thumb, thumb, move thumb. There we go. See, they're putting all the details around the top there. I thought that was quite smart. And um, apparently they're not that far off, uh, according to Mooch. Um, and they have other ones here as well. Now, they said, uh, can you do a review for them? But I did say, I can't, I can't review them. 
I can't review batteries because I don't have testing equipment to, to do that. All I can do is chuck them in a mod and vape with them and, and that's about it. Uh, so, but um, yeah, they've been behaving themselves. The chargers are as basic as a charger can be, to be honest with you. Uh, but um, I'll, I'll show them off properly in a, another vlog. Right now, I, I just, yes, I'm not up to it. Uh, God, what's with the people that want to sleep with me? Uh, we'll just hide that user on the channel. There we go. Boom, gone again. Uh, Oscar, hello in Indonesia, of all places. Um, and Berlin. Berlin is a city I've always wanted to visit. How about um, Hall of Vape? Obviously should have been going on just now, which isn't, which is... Oh, and there's Addy. Mr. T Addy Tooney, hello! Um, obviously, yeah, the Hall of Ape isn't going on just now, which is a crying shame. Um, gutted. Absolutely gutted about that not going ahead. However, uh, I did see that Ira put out a... You've possibly seen it. Uh, saying that they're... They're planning a Hall of Ape for... Is it November this year? I think it's November. Um... I'm guessing, I don't know for a fact, just want to make that clear here, this is not me saying something is true. I think it's going to be November. I think it is only going to be one hall, not the two halls that they normally have. Uh, I don't know how that is going to work uh, with regards to the Modders Gallery. I don't know if the Modders Gallery will be as big, or I, I don't know how it's going to work, but I can only hope. Uh, I only hope. And I, and I just hope that we're actually, we have freedom of travel uh, by then, so that we can actually go there. Because uh, I really missed them. I was so gutted. The Hall of Eight was the main thing for the year for me. It was the, the biggest event, the best event, uh, or the one that interested me the most. Yeah, I, and, it, and it just breaks my heart that we're not going. Um, I'm just going through chat here. Uh, to, uh, come here, to, we have open vape shops. Wow. Uh, bloody hell, you lucky so-and-so. Uh, yeah, Hall of Vape, November the 7th and the 8th. Yeah. It'll be great if it goes, I, like I say, it'll be great. I'm sure Ira is doing, Ira is a superstar in my book. Um, but all the, it depends, it depends. I'm not going to say anything else because I would just be making shit up. And, and that's not my style. Um, right, next. Is there anything else I can show you here? I don't think so really. Oh, I did. Um, these turned up. Was it Magnus? Magnus? Shit, if I've forgotten your name, mate. I'm so sorry. I'm sure it was Magnus. Uh, I don't... Uh, if I remember... I Something's broken. Um, uh, remember I got my Stig Helix? Uh, I picked up my Stig Helix again. Uh, well, I got it from Peter. Um, and uh, I think he got it from Magnus originally. Magnus saw that I had got it. And he sent on the original extenders that you got for the Stig Helix. So that you could, you know, if you wanted to put a, an Atty on top of it, you could screw that down and fire an Atty on the top. And he also sent me on the original paperwork for it as well, which is awesome. So those of you that remember the Stigs, remember you used to get the certificates with them. Um, really, really... Magnus the Drunken Swede. I think it was, yes. I think it was. Um, it was such a nice thing for him to do. And I've absolutely no idea of what's fallen on the floor round about me here, but uh, uh, it's probably broken now. That No, that wasn't the beagle. No, that's the beagle. There's the beagle. No, if, if that had fallen on the floor, that would have gone through the floor. That would have gone through the floor because that's just, that's the beast. The beast. Um, right. If 
you want to sleep. Why, why is it if people want me to sleep in their house? I don't want to sleep with you. I'm sorry. Well, actually, send photos. I'll get back to you. Anyway, um, get the super glue out. <laughs> Are you looking for... Oh, no, it's my hell boy. <laughs> no. Oh, he's still in one piece. He's still in one piece. Thank God for that. And I didn't knock over the... <laughs> I didn't knock over the art and mod. That would have been a very bad day. Um... These start off at 750 euros and depending on wood and materials you can go over a thousand euros easy. Uh, so this is not something that I want to knock over. Um, uh, Oscar, does the secret lab chair live up to its expectations? Uh, I have had this for... Um, almost a year now and my fat ass normally goes through a chair every six months uh, but this was a birthday present for my 50th from a lot of lovely people in my Facebook group they, they bought this for me which I can't thank them enough for uh, and yes it's still it doesn't creak groan it make, it's just super comfortable and, and I can't write go away don't want to sleep with you I don't, I don't, but send photos just in case um did i i had the message yeah they're hidden in this channel sorry terribly sorry um i did get one more thing uh I, I, young dominic uh, sent me on uh something to play with that he had <laughs> And he didn't get on that well with. Um, and I, I, Christ, I can't even remember what it's called now. Tell me it's on the bottom of it. If it's not on the bottom of it, I'm absolutely... We're in trouble. Um, Vanquish Mods. I did a review for a Vanquish uh, RDA a long time ago. A, a long time ago. And um, they never sent on this one for review. But uh, it's this one. This is an optional gold cap where you can adjust the airflow. Excuse the fact that it's covered in dirty fingerprints just now, but that's just that's just how I roll. Um, hang on, let's see if I can. That's terrible. Is it the the Acon? Is it Does anybody know the name of this RDA? Is it written in? Is it written? Well, here we go. Here we go. It's that one. Um, I've only used it a couple of times, I must admit. Uh, if I get bored or, or whatnot, then I, I might do a review on it. But it's with the standard top. It's quite airy. In fact, it's very airy with the standard top cap. Uh, but I wasn't blown away by it. But being brutally honest, I haven't used it enough to give a verdict on it. So please ignore that. It's just it's just to let you know that it's something I do have here, but I've not used it properly as such. Uh, and that, as they say, is that. Um, obviously, there were some reviews that uh, went out and uh, some people watched them. Did I do reviews? Do I do reviews? Uh, there's a the thing. Do I do reviews? I do videos every once in a while. Um, videos. What videos have I done? Right. Uh, the Callan. Yes. I do do videos. There we go. So we had the... The Callan by Young Tim, which uh, is, is now uh, in the house. Um, and I'm, I'm, as I said in the video, I'm, I'm so I'm so chuffed for him. I really am so chuffed for Tim. He's come such a long way, and he's done a really good job in that. And the the Juma ones that he's doing are really really nice. The Roulette RTA, which um, there's yes, I actually sent that off to Dominic to play with to see what he thought of it. So there we go in that. 
The Jew by F Mods, I absolutely adore. I think it's a beautiful mod. Yeah, it's uh, the Pixis by Tippy, and the, yep, the Lignum. Uh, oh my God, it's been it's it's just been a month. It's been a month since I've done a vlog. <gasps> There we go, and there you go. See, nobody watches my videos anymore. What a shame. Um, and if you're interested in the har or want to know any more about it, then I did a preview video here. And that's been about it. That's been about it. Um, uh, Addy, I've already discussed Dean's video um, and did a shout out for it uh, near the start of this vlog. Um, Runar, did Darren have a finger in that RDA? Did the first RDA that Vanquish did, um, they contacted Darren and asked if it was okay to use a certain design aspect and Darren gave the okay for it because I asked Darren about it. Darren's involvement in the second one, I really don't know. I have no idea on that one. Uh, I would just be making it up. I would just be making it up. Uh, so, whilst I tidy up here, if you have any burning questions or anything you want to know before I go and leave you all in peace, uh, fire away and I'll, I'll answer what I can. Uh, but, yeah, I've got to stop stacking stuff because it just keeps falling to bits here. Um, here we go. Put me Stiggy back. Somebody must have a good question for me. <sighs> then I remember Runer. Yeah, I think I mentioned it in the review, mate. Uh, I, I'm sure when I did the review, I mentioned that. Because I, I was worried that it was... Yeah, people would... You know how people always say, well, that looks like such and such, or that's a rip-off in such and such. So... I usually try and find these things out uh, if I'm aware of it. Um, where is the puppy? The puppy is... I don't know where the puppy is. The puppy... Yeah, I know you're just going to see my bald spot there. Well, this... <laughs> what the hell? There, puppy. Look at me. I'm covered in dog hair. Are you saying hello? You're just looking good and healthy and gorgeous. Um, right. Uh, uh, what is the name of your neighbourhood cat? Um, Rip. R.I.P. <laughs> That's a bad joke. That's, I'm really sorry. I don't know. I hate the bloody things and I throw rocks at them. Um, <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Uh, what album is next up? Well, I'm listening to The The Soul Mining. I think I'm actually going to go for um, Super Tramp, Breakfast in America, as my next choice. I think that's the next album that's going up. Um, uh, uh, did you... Uh, the Gamble, uh, can I ask a question about the raffle? Of course you can. Ask away. Uh, did you get any tips from Dean how to do an unboxing video? I don't do unboxing videos, so you can stick that right up your any distributors plan for the heart in Australia. It's Sasha that's handling all the sales and distribution and whatnot and wholesale stuff. Uh, I I honestly do not know. Um, sorry, I don't I don't know the answer to that one. Uh, Oscar, somebody comes and takes all your single coil RDAs, but you could only save one. Which one would it be? I've got to go with an Arda. Um, Narda Skyfall Vena. It'd be one of them. Actually, Narda Psycho Skyfall. The engine. It could be. Yeah, it's so many. I would grab them all. I've got big hands. It wouldn't be a problem. It really wouldn't be a problem. Um. 
Chris, did somebody say justice, justice for TJ? Yes, we'll have a justice for TJ. I'll sort that out right now. says I don't I don't usually have to work this hard for stuff this... see the strange thing is if I take his tennis ball off him or any toys off of him and I put it up there he'll jump up and get it no problem oh 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 he doesn't this doesn't usually happen with food so this is a bit unfair I'm sorry, Paul. I'm so sorry. That's not fair. That's not fair. Um, Michael, is there a list for the har? Uh, there is no list for the har at all. Uh, the har is... One of the, the main things behind the har was that we wanted it to be available so that anybody could buy it if they wanted it. Um, so when it first goes out it will be through the Vanendale website um, there'll be a preview video I'll do a video showing it off properly and giving all the technical specs and tell you where you can buy it when it's released um, there are already wholesalers being in touch that are wanting to stock it in shops and so on and we'll try and give you as much information as we can but uh, it's not one of these ones where you have to join a Facebook group a list or any of that stuff it's not working like that um, um, Oscar does the puppy have King Charles Spaniel mixed in it no he's a working Cocker Spaniel um, and they look the working working Cockers are small smaller um, than your standard co your normal Cocker uh, they're a lot smaller uh, and they do get confused for a King Charles quite frequently um, uh, be able to check your email sent a few pics on the second email I'll have a look as soon as I get out of this mate and and thank you uh, I want to enter the raffle to support your mate but my PayPal is associated with an email address that I'm locked out of how can I get the proper email added to it I I, I I don't know how... I don't know mate. I don't know mate. Um, let us say there's my PayPal address. You just send money to it via PayPal and, and that's it. If if your PayPal is associated with another email address, I, I can't help you with that. I, I can't do anything. Unless you get a mate to send it instead. And then I contact them if they win and they contact you. Um, I can't really do anything about that. Sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, the, uh, show that message. Um, where else are we? We've got... How long do I boil three eggs to get them hard boiled? Uh, you boil them the same length of time that you would boil one egg. I hope this helps. Um, Addy Tunis. <laughs> Did any of you guys hear from the Manor RDA? Not one I know about myself. Phantom Mods in France. <gasps> no. No. That's. I'm thinking of a different. I'm thinking of a different one. Um. Uh, coffee news Todd I've been a long time follower I always loved it I've never had anything to say but did want to thank you for amazing reviews and what you do you really helped me with my vape life thank you so so much possibly the best thing I've read all day thank you so so much uh, I, I'm glad that whatever shite I put in my YouTube channel has been of any use to anybody um, mix so the hair will be available to us common people even people as common as you, Mick. That's how far we're going with this one. 
That was the challenge. We thought, let's make it available to people like Mick. Not just your average people, but really common people like Mick. I am joking, if you're listening, uh, Mick used to be a moderator in my Facebook group. <laughs> in case people think I was being serious there. Anyway, um, you know, where are you going to sleep? Not a clue. Uh, tell them to start a new PayPal. Absolutely, that it just kind of seems like common sense. But anyway, uh, you have a YouTube channel. Can't remember the name of it. Can't remember the name of it. Um, uh, Matthew is a 24 millimeter single coil light with a low very low profile interest in debt. Was that the posty? No, it's not the posty. Um, <laughs> I love you, Mick. Uh, I've not vaped. I need something to vape on. Um, that's. I'm not getting into no no Monty Python jokes. I'm not doing Monty Python. Not today. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, subtitles usually do come up with some strange things in my, what is it, Delro? Usually comes up as dicks. Um, uh, I am curious about the name of the Har. Who named it and why is it German? Uh, yeah. I love you. That's the only answer you're going to get because anything else would be, yeah, wouldn't be quite as nice or polite. Um, Addy, uh, hugs to Karen and hope you guys, thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you so much, mate. Um, what is your favourite colour? Red, yes, no, blue. Ah! Um... I'm having problems with the magnets in my DIY box. You can all sod off. Don't start. What do you use in your hair? And it was at this point, Todd realized that his live vlog had reached the point where everything was going tits up and people were just going to take the piss out of him. Other reviewers don't get this, do they? No, you put them on a pedestal. You, 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 you worship them and say you can't live without them, but no. Take the piss out of me. Why don't you? You know I like it. Um, <laughs> for those of you that do not know what har means, har is a word that is used on the east coast of Scotland, which is where I live. And it's basically for, we get a har coming off the sea, we get a mist, a fog comes off the sea. Uh, that's what it is. It's a har, H-A-E-R. Um, it's not, it, it could, it could mean big penis in Turkish for all I care. What it means to me is the important thing. Stop it. And it's not tall. It's just the perfect size for a four mill, milliliter, 22 mil RTA. So leave me alone. Um, right guys, I, I'm going to go. I need to get on. I need to, I actually need to cut the grass of all things. And um, thank you once again to everybody that has donated into the, 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 the current charity raffle. I'm sorry to plug it at the end, but uh, yes, it's, uh, it's open worldwide. It's a pound a ticket. It's going to Mission Australia. We've re you have already donated over two and a half thousand pounds. And um, it's something that somebody that is a friend to many people in the vape community that was something it's something he supports and and that's why it's important so so yeah go and have a bung in um just this is just going so wrong <laughs> Uh, yes, Randy, I like to think so. Uh, battery battery life, D60E or D60D? The D60D, I do believe that the D60D, the, the Delro with the die codes board, gives slightly more. I, 
actually at the end of the day I don't think it's so that you would notice but I do believe it gives slightly more battery life um, so there you go um, uh, have a good day take it easy now thank you very much right uh, super max um, yes thumbs up super uh, no I'm only going uh, guys I am now going to go and figure out how I can get out of this I can't remember uh, but um, you have an excellent day have an excellent day and we'll, we'll catch up very soon I'll stop this now go away now <laughs>